Hello, my friends. Let's read Under the Snow. In the heart of winter, a deep layer of snow blankets fields and forests, ponds, and wetlands. You spend your days sledding and skating and having snowball fights, but under the snow lies a hidden world. Dozens of ladybugs pack themselves into a gap in an old stone wall under the snow in a field. Below them, a snake rests in a hole all its own. Voles spend their days tunneling through the snow. When they find a young tree, they slowly strip off layers of bark and eat them. Below the ground, a chipmunk snoozes for a few days at a time. Between naps, it snacks on the nuts and seeds stored in its burrow. Under the snow in a forest, a morning cloak butterfly takes cover in a pile of brush. Inside a rotting log, a centipede and a bumblebee queen remain silent and still until spring. A wood frog nestles in scattered leaves on the forest floor. It can freeze solid and still survive. Not Far away, a woolly bear caterpillar spends the winter curled up in a tight ball. Just below the ground, a spotted salamander waits out the coldest months of the year. Deeper down, a woodchuck sleeps soundly all winter long. Its heart rate drops and its breathing slows. The animal gets all the energy it needs from its thick layer of fat. Under the snow in a pond, bluegills circle slowly through the chilly water. They don't have enough energy to chase the water boatmen swimming nearby. A carp rests quietly on the muddy bottom. It isn't even tempted by the water striders laying just a few inches away. Buried in the mud, a frog and a turtle wait out the winter. They never move and they barely breathe. Under the snow in a wetland, a beaver family huddles together inside a cozy log lodge. When they get hungry, they swim out to their food storage pile and munch on some sticks. But even on the coldest winter days, red-spotted newts dodge and dart, whiz and whirl just below the ice. As time passes, the sun's rays slowly grow stronger. Each day is a little bit longer. Animals living in the fields and forests, ponds and wetlands begin to get ready for spring. And so do you. The end.